So obviously we have all heard of the Lancet Commission, which is really the talk of town right now. It was recently launched and that really um, outlines what an important disease in the global context sickle cell disease is. The commission only covers sickle cell, it's not a thalassemia commission, but in the global space, um, you know, we know now that the global burden of disease, uh, sickle cell has a significant contribution to that. We know that, you know, contrary to what was thought before, sickle cell contributes a lot more to the uh, international rates of death in, pa in patients. Um, and we also know that there is enormous burden of disease in sub-Saharan Africa and the middle bit of sort of tribal India. So, um, very good news that in um, early this year, the Indian government identified sickle cell as an, you know, as a public health disease of concern, and almost parallel to the Lancet Commission, have got their own uh, targets to achieve in terms of disease, limiting disease, um, you know, they call it eradication, uh, and also improving the quality of life for patients with the condition. So easier access. To to modifying treatments such as hydroxyurea. There has been fantastic work with hydroxyurea done in sub-Saharan Africa in children um, in the last four or five years, and we've learned enormously from the information that has been um, got, gathered from those studies. Um, and in fact, they are being now used to inform the care we provide to our patients in the West. Um, and we now know that hydroxyurea is really well tolerated in, in children in sub-Saharan Africa. It is not associated with increased risk of infection. In fact, it is associated with reduced risk of infection and particularly with malarial infection. So uh, hydroxyurea is good news and we now know that it is, effect it is sort of applicable even in the sub-Saharan African and Indian context. Um, I think there are a lot of initiatives. I already mentioned uh, briefly about gene therapy and transplants in low middle income countries. Um, so that will obviously, we're looking forward to hearing more about that. One thing I haven't touched is pain management. And again, um, I think that's an area that needs more looking into. But hopefully with costs reducing and more people using these curative treatments, uh, that would be good news. The final thing to say about low and middle income countries is um, newborn screen and um, and sort of general public awareness and hopefully the Lancet Commission will help people to help countries and healthcare organizations to actually take on board the importance of developing those initiatives in their individual countries.